Okay, coming through the what would be dining room doors off of the front porch. And to the left is the kitchen. Would be an island there. And then that room right there is the utility room for washer dryer. And then this would be the sink. And then you've got the water line for the um, ice maker refrigerator. And then some outlets. This wall here was going to be for a counter, double oven. I think there were going to be two double ovens. And there is, um, there's all of the radiator for the radiant floor um, heater. So that's all right there. And then let me take you into the there's another door out on the front porch. The utility room for washer and dryer. Um, cabinets, a nice, nice size. Okay, and then from the kitchen, this is the great room. Um, nice wood burning stove there. Uh, living room area. Then down the hallway, that's the door that leads up to the um, wheelchair ramp leads up to that door right there and there are a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom in a the master suite down there but we're going to go to the left first and this is a staircase that leads up to the loft that overlooks the great room which is hard to see that that's what that is in the pictures but we envision a pony wall up there with some kind of a game room for kids or a library type thing and then you go in here, and this is the storage under the stairs. Nice big area. This is the master bedroom, and it's at the, you can tell it's at the other end of the house. Um, this is the master bath that is probably. Uh, this one is the least complete. I don't know how to say that, but so you've got the shower and then it's kind of a open ended ceiling, very high ceilings in here. And then for the water closet. Um, but this is all set up for dual shower heads. Um, and nice big shower here. And then over here is a walk-in closet for the master bedroom, which has a lot, again, the ceilings go way up top. So we've heard some people um, with some great ideas for uh, putting a ceiling in that, and we'll talk about that when we get to the second story loft. Um, now we're going to go outside on the back porch. The sun is shining here. So this is out of the master bedroom. There is another back porch entrance. So this would be good for, you know, group home. Um, lots of different things because there's so many entrances. And then utility closet. Um, the water heater is in there. I think the equipment for the um, radiant floor heating and such. I know you're not going to see that because of the sun and the glare, but hopefully. Okay, so now we're going to walk through the great room and up the stairs to the loft. And then we get up to the loft. You can see there's some electrical in the floor, so when you put a pony wall in there, you can have um, outlets for whatever gaming, whatever you need. So this is a nice, open, spacious um, floor plan. You can see that. And then what's nice with this loft is you can come in over here, and this is another loft.
that is open over the master bedroom. So what we've talked about for this is either putting up a solid wall, if this is going to be a rental space, and you're looking for more beds, put up a solid wall, and you can easily put two bunk beds with a trundle in this space. It's a nice big space. And if that was the case, then this wall right here is what is over the closet in the master bedroom. And if you wanted to use this for a rental unit, uh, then you could um, open this up, put a floor in, and even maybe make it a bathroom or certainly a closet if you wanted to make it a real life bedroom or both. Um, it could actually be both, a small closet, a small bathroom and a closet. Okay. So then we go down the stairs. And again, nice view. We don't hear any of the highway traffic. A nice, very nice forced air. Hmm. Nice big energy efficient windows. Then we come down here to this side and you've got a small bedroom over here with a closet. And this across here is the bathroom for these two bedrooms. The water closet and a light. And then this is for a tub. Hmm. I'm guessing that's where the, yeah, that's the toilet and this is for the sink vanity area. Another bedroom. Exit. Um, and this is a, I guess it was intended to be an office um, type suite with its own bathroom. Um, again. And this room has a loft. And the intention in here was there was gonna be a spiral staircase, but um, that didn't get approved in the plan. So uh, what we've talked about, or people have talked about doing is walling this off, putting a drop down attic type ladder and having indoor storage in there. And to make this a bedroom, um, this would just have to be, uh, the door would be changed to a smaller door. And then in the corner over there, um, added a closet. Um, and that can be easily done. And then again, you've got great view out this corner window. This is the other end of the house and an entrance onto the porch. And I think, so let me just get out here and get a view from this end of the house. So you can see very light, very open very um, ready to finish. It's all finished to drywall. It's been um, uh, signed off and inspected and approved and it's just ready for the finishing touches.